So I'm doing a quick V2K birth with me. So they said you can't use never if there's one exception. For example, I used in a previous video. You have, you say I never drink orange juice, but in the hospital, the doctor makes you drink orange juice for your medicine. Then you can never use the word, I never drink orange juice, because you would have to then say, I guess, I drank orange juice once when I was in the hospital. And this is part of my issue. So I'm going to give that one to them. Why I'm giving that to them is because I would still say never. Why? Because it was one time and you didn't voluntarily drink orange juice. I've seen many other examples like that, but I'll give this to them that you can't say I never drink orange juice because you had it the one time when the doctor made you take your medicine with it. Now, why is that important? Because they keep arguing, well, why are you saying this? Because according to them, they're going to force these types of things to make my nevers a something. When I said I never introduced them to anyone after th this incident, they said, well, maybe you, made, you, maybe you made a mistake. Maybe at your sweet 16 you did. Maybe. No, I did not. So they said then they're going to have someone lie and say that I did just to make my never an exception. Well, if you're making nevers an exception and they used a horrible example and they know they did, it's out loud. And what I'm trying to explain to them is that if you're trying to manipulate people's lives, which is partly what I'm talking about, this whole video series is about them. And they can't understand that, sure, you're saying out loud certain things and I'm disputing those things, but it's really about you saying it out loud and lying. And that's what this whole issue is because they thought that I would give proof of the actual story as opposed to proving that they're liars and they don't want to see the difference of that. And I don't see why you can say, well, I'm forced to in a hospital drink orange juice, but I never drink orange juice for whatever reason. I don't know. You know, you can think of a reason or I never do this. And now you're going to force it so that you can make it sound like it's a lie then you're manipulating it. That is not an exception. That's a manipulation. And I think these people can't tell the difference. I don't think they can tell the difference between when something is legitimate and something is not. The truth from lies, reality from their version of reality, manipulative behavior from truly good behavior. When they keep talking about doing things from the kindness of their heart, they are not. And that's something, you know, when they're talking about legal issues. You have to look at motive. Motive is a big deal. What motive are they coming from? Are they coming from the motive of making me look bad so they'll come up with anything and manipulate every situation? And that's something they talked about today, which was how they manipulated circumstances to make me work harder or to give me a lot of questions. They said that they claimed that Cup of Job Productions was like a group, um, project and they claim credit for it that doesn't even make any sense it it doesn't i why would you have claim that something i'm doing and you can tell i'm doing it is something you're doing it doesn't even make any sense but that goes to show if your motive is coming from a place just to get me upset then that is the goal you cannot clean that up and if you are the type of person this is what they don't seem to understand if you're the type of person who will target someone to get them upset, that is exactly what every single targeted person is saying. Thank you for watching.